The city of Lynn has recently hired 20 new police officers and we need to continue to uh, increase the number of officers on our uh, Lynn police force and another one uh, area would be the community liaison officer uh, that goes around on a bike and it, um, they were really tuned into the neighborhoods and with kids and I think that would be a, a great way to uh, help uh, fight the crime. We need to have more officers on the street, we need to have uh offices connected with the community through community policing programs and I'm hoping that with the addition of new offices that's something that we're going to be able to achieve. Hiring 19 police officers and also creating uh, more community policing in the neighborhoods and get the different groups and organizations working with the police department and the uh, city hall. First of all we just hired 20 new police officers in the city of Lynn. And by the way, crime has been reduced 10% this year, coupled with 16% and 14% of the last couple of years. So Lynn is not crime ridden as people think it is. We need to have more programs. It needs to start at home. And we need to have programs for the kids starting in elementary school and make sure that they kids know that crime is not the answer. And well, we just hired more police officers. We work with the police department different authorities, different programs through the city of Lynn. There's crime everywhere, not just in the city of Lynn. We have drug addiction problems, there's different programs out there, and this is something the council is working on with other groups. Well, we need more community uh, discussions. A lot of these kids are dealing with trauma. That's the source of the crime. And I'd also be looking into more grants for community outreach and prevention. Well, first I uh, was by hiring more police officers and um, continue with the Stop the Violence program that I've been working on and just continue with proactive measures in the city. I believe it starts with um, having proactive community conversations from people that are directly impacted and talking about social emotional learning behavior, how to effectively communicate uh, negative emotions and um, anger and rejection and how can we uh, translate that into something that is more productive. The crime in Lynn's pretty complex. Years ago it used to be gang members and people that were from gangs. Right now it can come from all different things, whether it's drugs, robberies. I think having community police officers and working to get funding for the community police program is where we can help solve those types of things. Crime, just arresting people and putting more police on the streets is not going to work. You have to have people who are community oriented police officers that get to the root of the problem. So I would like to focus more on prevention clearly attack the consequence of crime and um, have more police in the street and more surveillance. But I like to really focus on working with these kids so they don't go into the same cycle. Well, as chairman of public safety in the city of Lynn, um, the obvious answer would be um, to make sure there's more police officers and, and the city's in the process of uh, hiring new police officers. We're already hiring additional police officers, but I like to see more officers reflect the community. We need more people of color and women. Also, I like to be some training where there's resolution to conflict, especially the drug, drug epidemic that we have. Well, we need to reduce crime in Lynn. We need to hire more police officers, but we need to hire police officers uh, that reflect what the cities look like. Housing requires development, more, more um, units, and uh, I'm all in favor of increasing the number of units within the city. Well, we're creating new apartments, new market rate apartments on Monroe Street, another one about to, to uh, hit the ground. And on the Linway, uh, I think we do need to address some affordable housing issues by uh, creating more housing that's affordable for seniors, for veterans. Um, but we also need to be cognizant of the impacts that bringing folks into the city are going to have on our school department. I'd bring all parties to the table, developers, I'd bring landlords, I'd also bring in all the different housing advocates that are here in the city. But my real true feeling is that we create jobs so people can make enough money so that they can afford to live wherever they choose to live. It's, a, it's not just in Lynn, it's the whole country. Unfortunately, rents are skyrocketing. But I believe, uh, you know, some subsidized housing for Lynn residents only, not people for coming from Boston. We want Lynn residents to get housing with affordability.
we need more affordable housing in Lynn. I would advocate for no tax breaks for developers. We need to make sure all housing has 20% affordable housing. There's a housing crisis through the United States right now. It's not just in Lynn. We're looking for more developers to come in. I know we also want to get 10 to 20% affordable housing on certain units, certain projects that are coming in. But this is not just the city of Lynn, it's through the whole United States. We need to leverage our proximity to Boston to our benefit. No tax breaks to developers without a community benefit. We need to support inclusionary zoning and work with CDCs to build affordable units for our residents. Well, we definitely have to take care of Lynn people and make sure the housing is affordable for Lynn people that live in Lynn. I believe we need um, inclusionary zoning, we need rent control, we need to be able to put our people first and I understand we need um, development but we need equitable economic development. I think you have people coming in from Boston with housing vouchers that are worth more money. I think those people are being taken over Lynn residents and people who have vouchers that are worth less, worth less. And I think we have to continue to work with developers to try to bring some affordable units to some of these projects or have them pay into a housing trust fund where we can help uh, get some sort of affordable units in the city. I would like to create some type of rent control measurements to help uh, um, the tenants. And but at the same time, I would like to focus on helping families and, and working people to get good jobs so they can break the gap between the price of renting and the salary they're making. Make sure that our finances are in order so that um, we can keep going on the same path we're going to make sure there's affordable housing in the city of Lynn and to make sure that the, um, to give incentives to our people coming in doing businesses so there's affordable housing units. We need to say no to developers who are not going to put anything back into the community. If they're going to develop, I like to see inclusionary zones, more affordable housing for everyone. Because right now what's at stake is people from Lynn are being pushed away. When we get developers to, um, to build big, those big buildings, uh, we need to enforce the, those developers to set aside um, 20 to 25 percent of those units for low-income family.